Well, she got ousted from the DNC. Florida Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz now fighting to stay in the House of Representatives. Her challenger, the challenger for the Florida seat that she currently holds, Tim Canova, has filed a federal complaint against the Congresswoman, alleging she illegally utilized DNC resources to sabotage his campaign. He's basing this largely on the leaked DNC emails, which cost her her job. Back in May, DNC finance director wrote in an email, quote, not cool when he heard of Senator Sanders' efforts to share his fundraising money with Canova. Now, with me now to talk all about all of this, Tim Canova, the Democrat who's running against Wasserman Schultz for Congress in Florida, the primary coming up there. Um, you know, not cool doesn't seem to be the smoking gun in your allegations against her. Do you have more emails that, that would support your case? Uh, uh there are plenty of emails to support the case. Uh, I'm surprised that uh, Wasserman Schultz wants to rely on uh, two words in one email. If you do a, a search of um, the WikiLeaks uh, DNC file, uh, you'll see that my name comes up dozens and dozens and dozens of times. Uh, this wasn't two words that she, that she uh, uh, sent by email. This was a repeated pattern of her campaign using DNC resources to monitor my campaign and to try to crush my campaign. And do you have, it's, Mr. Canova, in the emails you mentioned where your name does come up, I mean, is it yes. specific kind of let's do this? Let's, for instance, the Sanders complaint against Hillary Clinton was the coordination of debates to help Hillary yes. Clinton. Is it that kind of stuff going on in the emails? Is there one that you can, uh, you know, I'm not saying you're not telling us the truth. We just want to be able to say to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, here it is. Uh, well, sure. You know, again, go to the website. You'll see my name comes up dozens of times and you can read it for yourself. But, you know, she was using DNC resources to try to figure out how to respond to all kinds of events that my campaign was doing. Uh, that's not a, a matter of two words saying uh, uncool uh, uh, or, or not cool. Uh, this was a repeated pattern of trying to, to use the DNC resources to respond to my campaign. So that's clear violations of federal law. And you know something, the WikiLeaks uh, disclosure show that this is a pattern with Wasserman Schultz of saying one thing and doing another. And it really distracts people from the real issues. And I've been trying to get her into a debate for four months now to talk about real issues. I, I think it's a shame that the press really pays most, most attention when I file a, a, a federal election commission uh, complaint against her. But, you know, for four months, I've been trying to have her debate the issues. She's been dodging it. Last week, she, she told the local paper that she agreed to debate and that she was negotiating Appreciating the terms of debates. I've never heard from her office at all. Let me, um, so, you know, uh, a spokesperson for the Congresswoman provided a statement to us uh, regarding this, and it's, quote, there is no merit to this complaint. The Congresswoman's opponent is wasting her, con her constituents' time with attacks based on stolen, cherry-picked information. It's time he got serious. It sounds to me like you're serious. <laughs> I mean, what would you say to the uh, Wasserman I, Schultz campaign spokesperson? I would say the spokesperson really doesn't have much of a role to play. At this point, she better have some lawyers who respond within 15 days to the complaint. Uh, you know, they're the ones who are trying to always spin this stuff. And uh, wasting uh, constituents' resources, I'll tell you something. Last year, Debbie Wasserman Schultz had the lowest, uh, I should say, the poorest absentee record uh, of, of all Florida, de uh, excuse me, Democrats. Uh, out of 27 Florida congressional, um, okay. uh, the, the delegation, she had the second uh, worst absentee rate. I got to tell you, it's, it's interesting to watch this. I'm sure we're going to have you back on. I grew up in that part of the country. Makes you long for the days of Dante Fussell. Tim Canova, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.